of caution. With that, I will turn it over to the sheriff. I'm Kevin McMahill. I'm the sheriff of the Las Vegas Metropolitan Police Department, and I want to say to the community, there's no further threat. I will tell you that this combined police, state, local, and federal law enforcement, along with the fire department, works very well. As the chief told you, we do have one su suspect down. Of course, we have no idea on the uh, motive. Um, there are a number of victims that have been transported to area hospitals. So I don't want to give you false information and tell you how many victims that we have, but we will pro be providing that update very, very shortly. I want to assure the community there's no further threat. We are continue, continuing the investigation here. Uh, this is still a very active and dynamic scene. So if you can avoid the area, we would appreciate it. And we'll be pro providing additional updates in the very near future. Thank there you. are victims. Yes, there are victims. Yes, on uh, behalf of the entire com uh, uh, first responder community, though, of course, our, our hearts go out to any of the families that are affected by this. Uh, our update right now is that we do have a, a reunification center that is opened up at the convention center. That's at the North Hall. It will take time to transport uh, students over to that area. But if you can't get a hold of uh, your loved ones right now, your, your, your kids or uh, somebody that you're concerned with, then that would be the place to go and to try to uh, go ahead and do that reunification. Uh, we will have people there to assist you. We also have a phone number. Uh, it is being staffed. It's 702-455-AIDE. Uh, and there will be a website opened up, and it's uh, facofsouthernnevada.com. Okay? And so... That is our uh, current uh, information that we have uh, for victim services, and that will um, uh, change also as or, or be updated as necessary. But we will have those resources there. Understand when you call that number or you check the website, the information right now will still be limited, and there won't be any specific information as far as uh, individuals that have been uh, injured or, or deceased. Sheriff, what's happening on the campus now? I see people leaving. So as you can imagine, the campus is a very large um, area to cover. Uh, much like we had it in the aftermath of 1 October, there's a lot of additional calls coming in that students hunkered down. They're afraid. They're scared. Our officers are going unit by unit, building by building with the, uh, the, the university police and the rest of the police officers, firefighters, EMS, and making sure that we don't have any additional victims and or subjects. So we'll be back with you in the very near future to provide an update. Thank you. Any info on the suspect? Sheriff, I All have right. an update as well. All right, so one more update here. On that website, that's going to be facofsouthernnevada.org. I believe I said .com. That is, uh, that is .org. All right, we just got Thank the very latest, very latest information from... All right, so we just got the latest information. All right, we got the latest information from Sheriff there, Sheriff McMahill, just providing us an update. We're going to step away here from this. Okay, listening in here to that update, very brief here as all of this 